Clifton. Big game, James Worthy, and uh, he's here. Big game and Alley. AD, Anthony Davis. You've been wanting this for like five years. We don't have years. to sing it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> five years you We don't have you to sing it anymore. AD is not on the way. <laughs> AD, AD is right here AD beside is here. me. Oh, Big Game's wanted this for a long time. Haven't you, Big Game, James? I have wanted him to get out of uh, wherever he was. <laughs> <laughs> Memphis, was it? Uh, yeah, New Orleans. New Orleans. Uh, yeah, see, I don't even remember. Yeah, yeah. We wanted the, the man here where he belongs. Yeah. Listen. And uh, so I'm happy to have you. Thank you. Yeah. We're happy. Yeah. No, that's, yeah. that's from the Hall of Famer right there. Uh, putting on that uniform today and, and, and being here in Los Angeles, what are what are some of the, the feelings you have? Because I know you're ready to get it going. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm just ready to play. Um, you know, I put on this uniform in the locker room, which is like I'm I'm really a Laker. You know, um, and to be in a historical franchise like this with you know a great team, great coaching staff, great front office, um, I couldn't ask for nothing better. Um, and I'm ready to get started. You know, do you see it with superstar players? We saw it in Los Angeles when, when, when Shaq arrived, and you saw it when LeBron went to Miami, KD to Golden State. There's just a certain time in a player's career, right yeah. around your age, yeah. where that focus just changes. Yeah. And championship is all that matters. Yep. Is that your top and only priority? Only priority. Um, you know, obviously, I think a lot of people know that, you know, seeing what, yeah. <laughs> what I left on the table in New Orleans. You know, <laughs> I just want to win. You know, at the end of the day, I think a lot of – I think everyone comes in a game of basketball wanting to be a champion. And, you know, I want to put that on my resume. Um, and I think um, this year we have something – we have a chance to do something special, you know, with the team that we have, the supporting cast that we have, the coaching staff. And um, we have to stay in the moment. You know, we can't worry about anything else. Um, our biggest goal is just to make sure that we have each other's back. And when we go out there and play, uh, we know we're going to get everyone's best shot because who we are. Um, and the players that we have. So we got to come out with a mindset that, you know, we're going to play great defensively, um, lock teams up, and, and by doing that, you know, we should give ourselves a chance to win every night. Oh, I need to switch directions because you just said lock teams up. You want to be the defensive player mm -hmm. of the year. Yeah. I, I want to know what goes into that process for you and that mindset, but I also want to take it one step further and the desires of yourself to hold a guy like LeBron James accountable to such standard as well. Yeah, um, I think – you know, I've been, you know, okay, my my defensively okay. my, <laughs> in my career. Um, and I want to continue that here. And I know that um, with me being able to play defense the way I do, um, you know, I can hold guys accountable um, because I'm going to give it my all on defense, probably more than I do offense, you know. Mm -hmm. um, we have plenty of guys who can score, you know, and I want to be the one to, you know, make sure that we lock team down defensively. Um, and I'm not – afraid of anyone you know I can I, I want to challenge God because I know it's coming from the right place and they do as well um, and so if that means getting on LeBron Rondo Kuzma whoever it is to make sure that we play defensively um, you know that's what we're going to have to do and I can, I'm sure when you play it as well it, it's the Mon same way monitor each other constructively yeah. you appreciate that you want that and that's really the only way that a family stays together exactly you have to understand and, and, and appreciate that Exactly. And so and that's what I want to do, you know, and I think we're able to do it on the defensive end. We should be fine. And you mentioned this team obviously can score in multiple ways uh, that you want to focus on the defensive end, though LeBron has also said that he wants to pass that torch to you, make you the focal point of the offense. What tells you that you're ready for that? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I got a lot of work, to, a lot of work to do, <laughs> a lot of treatment hours. Uh, um, you know, when a guy wants to do that, you know, especially with LeBron's caliber, like, look, mm -hmm. AD, here. Um, even when we were shooting pitchers, you know, I handed him the ball because we had pitchers together and he was like, no, you're going to be handling the ball a lot. So um, wow. right then I was like, okay. It's on. You know, so, um, and I kind of had to do the same thing, you know, in my time in New Orleans, you know, and I think that, you know, I'm able to, all right, LeBron, I need, I need a couple possessions. Here you go. Yeah. You know, and we're able to do that. We have to play off each other. And um, I think the most important thing that we have is our, is our supporting cast. We have a great supporting cast and mm -hmm. guys who want to win and want to be here. So um, it's going to be a fun year this year. People usually talk about a trio of scores or a trio of elite players. You guys have a trio of shot blockers. Yes. Talk about that club. Ooh, that yeah. could be that yeah. could be a pretty nice club right there. Yeah. With Dwight Howard, you and McGee, yeah. both all three of you have proven that you can get yeah. the job done. At least shot blockers. And I think that um that's also going to help us defensively. Um I think we can put, you know, myself and JaVel, myself and Dwight, um, JaVel and Dwight, whatever it is, on the floor and be great defensively as well. So um it's something that coach has definitely, you know, mentioned to me. Uh, about doing a, like a super big lineup and just seeing like what happens. So um, 
you know, and that just goes into our, our, our mindset. We want to make sure that we, you know, want to be great defensively. And, you know, we have a lot of guys who can do phenomenal things yeah, on that I, end. I, I could see all three of you guys holding the whole team accountable yeah. defensively. Yeah. I'm going to show you guys this. AD, you, you, you can look right there and, and see it. This is the most seasons with 25, 10, and two blocks. And look at the names on that list. It's Hall of Famers. Shaquille, Captain, Hakeem, David Robinson, and then you. That's nice. That is nice. Um, That's elite company, my friend. And I want to make that three or four. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah. You know, I think that you know being a in a elite company like that, uh, you know, is definitely an honor. You know, um, not too many, obviously, not too many yeah. guys can do it. And um, you know, I think that the more the, the more and more um, I get to develop my game, the more and more I can you know get on a list like this. And you know, most importantly, um, like I say, I'm I'm here to win. So. Um, that's fine, and you know, definitely a, a you know great personal honor. But you know, you know, for me right now, it's all about them rings. <laughs> so much has been made about you playing the five and the four, and everyone's asking Frank Vogel. And every time you sit down, people yeah. ask you. You and I are going to talk off camera. I just want you to play the last five and a half minutes of the game. <laughs> yeah. That's between the two of us for sure. Uh, but seriously, Javale McGee, Dwight Howard, how do they make the game easier for you? Um, being able to play the four. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> That makes you happy. Have you ever seen his eyes? Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> you know, um, and, I, and me and Coach had conversations, and I said, yeah. Coach, listen here, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I played five in New Orleans several years, and whenever you need me at the five, I'm, I'm ready to play. Um, because if you if you look at it now in this game, there's not a lot of traditional fives. The fives are the fours, so right. um, that that doesn't make a huge difference, but. Um, I think I'm, I'll be better at the four, and you know, hence why we want to go get hey. the one. <laughs> James, he can play wherever he wants. Wherever you want, in Los Angeles. <laughs> uh, how would you? You said your last game was March 29th. Uh, March that you played was it? And it was, it was late in March. March. It, it was, was late in March. March. Yeah. How would you describe in one word what you're going to be like in that first game? Like, Back in New Orleans. Uh, no, no, no. no. Just oh, to and, tip it off. Oh, okay. Tip, tip it off the season. Off. October 22nd. Uh, excited. Excited. Um, I'm gonna be excited to just get back on the floor again and play. Like I always want to play five on five. They're like, "Ady, you can't be like. Let's save something for the season." Yeah. I, just, I just want to play. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'm gonna be super, super excited to to play in Staples. Um, you know that first game, uh, and then it's gonna be like, "Oh, the Clippers Lakers game." So it's gonna be it's gonna be huge. So I'm, I'm gonna be very excited. Ad doesn't even care about load management, James. No, no, just no. The guy I'm 26 win, years man. old. I'm, I'm There's, no such, yeah. There's no such thing as load yeah. management when you want to win. Yeah, you yeah. Just, yeah, you got to just yeah. play. 100. percent How important are the relationships with Quinn Cook and Rajon Rondo for you? And by the way, Quinn, yeah. Quinn Cook is one of my new favorite. Yeah, See, that's, what a that's, great guy. that's my that's my guy right yeah. there. Um, you know, both of them guys, you know, played in New Orleans with me. Uh, Quinn several times, Rondo, that one year. And um, those are always the guys I lean on, you know. And, you know, Rondo pushes me every day. <laughs> Look, they go Rondo right there talking. <laughs> you know, those, those guys, you know, push me every day. Um, you know, Quinn, you know, tells me all the time, like, you're the best player in the league. And this was when we were even in New Orleans. Like, you got to go out there and prove it every night. You have to prove it in practice. You know, you have to prove it off the floor with your teammates. So, um, for a guy like Quinn to come tell me that, I had so much respect for him. And me and him have been close ever since. And Rondo, you know, we had a, a meeting at 11. And I got walked in at 1059. But I was already ready. I was just waiting for everybody to get in there. And Rondo said, you late. <laughs> Rondo, how about so he he always held me accountable. He always gonna hold me accountable, and um, that's another guy I can respect as well. So um, you know, we already had this group where we, we're tight knit, you know, yeah. and that's gonna help us in the long so, run. So so you go from New Orleans, po'boy sandwiches. Now you gotta come out to <laughs> Los Angeles. What's your favorite food out here now? What are you going? Uh, are you going vegan on this side yet? <laughs> Actually, Javale was talking to <laughs> me. Well, Javale, <laughs> he might try to get you. He's to talking go. about me, but no. No, sushi? I'm not. I'm not vegan. Are you a sushi uh, guy? I've turned to a sushi guy. Okay, all right. Um, not not a lot of sushi, but it's certain things that well, I'm I'm able to eat. We got to get him to see Aki, our sushi guy. Oh, yeah, Aki! Yeah, we have sushi sometimes in the studio. Will you come over? Perfect. Yeah. I will do. Yeah. Right okay. there, right He's across there. the street. Can't lose yeah. with that. All right. Um, are, are we? Do we have any time? You probably didn't bring anything with you. I forgot to tell you, Magic. Did you know that he is a magician? No, why everyone keeps saying that? Oh, you get to go yeah. to the Magic uh, Castle. Have no. you been to the Magic no. Castle yet? I haven't. Did you bring anything for us? Bring anything. I well, then, create some <laughs> 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 yeah. 
<laughs> One I'll create day. some magic. Yeah, I got a staples. friend that's a member of the Magic Castle. Magic gotta go to the Magic Castle. For sure. Ooh, I would yeah. love to. Tweet that's that. Where they all some, come. Love to Hold on. I, I gotta tweet to. that out. Try yep. to get some followers. <laughs> create some magic at Staples. Create some magic at Staples. All right. That's the goal. AD, thanks so much, man. Thanks for having me. AD is in the house.